Welcome to another tutorial by Geek Together. Today we'll be talking about monitoring Nginx proxy manager logs using CrowdSec. If you've been following my previous videos on the um, Nginx proxy manager installation series, um, you realize that we installed Nginx proxy manager and we set it up with CrowdSec so that we can secure our um, proxy connections using Nginx proxy manager using the La Presidente um, NPM image for CrowdSec. Uh, most of you um, called me out on not showing you guys how to be able to monitor the Nginx logs um, using CrowdSec. Um, so in order for us to do this, it is pretty simple. So that's why I created this video. So we want to start by heading into your Nginx proxy manager um, data directory. If you followed my um, CrowdSec Nginx proxy manager installation videos, you should have the same um, path where your logs files are going to be installed. So in my case, that's going to be in data. And then we're going to CD to Nginx. And then we want to CD into the log directory. So once you're in that directory, we can see in here that we have a bunch of log files for our proxy host. Because at this point in time, my Nginx proxy manager here is set up to um, proxy a couple of hosts to the external world. Um, and so all these are logged in these different log files. So if we want our CrowdSec instance to monitor this file, it is pretty easy, okay? So how we can do this is, now that we know our path to our log files, so I'm gonna make sure I copy this path, okay? We're going to now head over to our CrowdSec installation. So we're gonna CD, Etsy, CrowdSec. And we wanna open the acquisition file, which is the acquis.yaml file. So once you have that file open, you can see in here that I have a new um, acquisition um, configuration added. So you want to paste or you want to include the file name and then followed by pasting the path to your Nginx proxy manager's log. Um, if you notice, I have the um, asterisk.log, which means CrowdTech is going to monitor every single file in the log directory that ends with .log. Because remember, all our log files inside of that directory are ending with .log. So we want to monitor all those files by CrowdSec. So once you have that put in there, you're also going to put the labels. You want to make sure this label is set up as Nginx Proxy Manager. Okay. So once that's complete, the next thing we want to do is head over to the CrowdSec Hub. Okay. So you can Google that. Okay, I'll have the link pasted in the description section below. Um, you want to head over to the CrowdSec hub and you want to make sure that you have the Nginx proxy manager collection installed. So you want to note there's, um, there's a couple of Nginx collections in here, but we want to make sure we're using the Nginx proxy manager, not Nginx. So once we select that, here is the command to install that. And as you can see, they have the template that we just followed, okay? So once you have that done, you install the collection. The next thing you need to do is restart your CrowdSec service. So you can do systemctl restart CrowdSec. And once that's complete, in order for you to verify that your settings were correctly um, taken and you have this set up correctly, you're going to run the command CSCLI metrics. And once you run that command, you can see that our log files 
are being read and they're being passed successfully okay if you get um lines on passed that means you're doing something wrong or you haven't set this up correctly if you followed my instructions or my setup correctly like i did in this video you should get um lines read and lines passed and nothing on passed okay and this brings us to the end of this video um if you have any questions you can leave it down in the comment section below um, and please do not forget to subscribe like and share the video